The Ranko family calls 12 on your side asking for help after more than a year of trying to work with Home Depot to repair flooring. Hannah Schooler has several medical challenges and her family actually needs a smooth surface to help with mobility in their home. On your side, investigator Jeff. And she'll go to bed with a smile and th th there's no better joy in that as a, as, a, as a parent. She was born with Down syndrome and diagnosed with heart and gastrointestinal issues. At a year old, she suffered a brain injury. In March 2019, in the midst of constant medical battles, surgeries, and hospital stays, the family decided to install Pergo Outlast Flooring, a laminate wood floor, hoping a smoother surface would be safer for Hannah. Prior to seeing Hannah right now, she was, uh, let's just say, starting to get to the mobile phase, starting to get inquisitive. But in November 2019, she caught a cold and ended up in the pediatric ICU. On Valentine's Day of 2020, she had her surgery for a trach, and 10 days later, we were home. With Hannah home from the hospital and after almost a year of having the floors, the schoolers noticed in early 2020, during winter months, gaps started showing up in the flooring they bought through Home Depot, installed by a third party contractor. We've been trying for about a year and almost two years now to have Home Depot and Romanoff flooring fix the problem with our floors. In the warm months, the gaps go away. The family says a report shows issues with the initial installation. And we have the whole report that shows that like the molding is too tight to the floor, which doesn't give room for expansion and the floor is not level in all places, which should have been caught by the Home Depot measurer. Hannah has a compressed spinal cord living in a cervical collar. You know, then they brought up the idea of putting in transitions. And I looked at the lady like tra transitions, speed bumps and in the areas where Hannah goes. The schoolers say they can't have flooring that opens and closes and they can't have transitions. They could cause Hannah's wheelchair or ventilator to get caught or bump or a caretaker to catch their toe and trip while transporting her. They said they'd leave and come up with some other ideas uh, and get back to us. And they never got back to us. I first emailed Home Depot and then got a call back. Soon after, the schoolers received an email stating, quote, we received a response from our service leadership team offering two resolutions for your selection to include either replacement installation with a glue down hardwood or a check payment in the amount of $10,000 and zero cents to replace with provider of your choice. When the world itself is not set up for people with disabilities to begin with, and we adapt when we're out there, but this is our home. And it has to be a safe place for her. And that's what I told them. Home Depot released this statement to NBC 12 saying, quote, the company or our hearts go out to Hannah and the entire schooler family as they work to provide her a safe and comfortable home. We understand their frustration and appreciate the opportunity to make it right. Coming up at six, we have more on how this situation was resolved and we'll show you the new floors in the schooler's home. On your side, Jasmine Turner, NBC 12. Accurate, reliable.